there youtube it's your guy ken pool collects we are in matthews north carolina checking out second in charles a little buy sell trade and uh, we're gonna go see if we can find anything new inside something we haven't seen in a while because uh, they do little buying and trading so maybe there's some uh, cool stuff inside i don't know we haven't been in yet we're gonna go check it out if you haven't already jump into ken pool collects we're having a lot of fun here on youtube also over on instagram ken pool collects a little toy hunt video Yay. Very similar to uh, Books a Million, Second and Charles. Got a lot of anime. Sometimes uh, things are just kind of in this main, and then they have like different aisles, different sections, tons of like video games, other stuff going on. But as you can see, little anime set up there. There's some more anime going on all kinds of Funkos different characters there they do have a ton of Funko got some uh, Digimon going on like little I can't tell if they're figures maybe there might be a little bit of articulation like in the arms maybe the legs a little bit but uh, little Digimon characters there Got all kinds of books. Here's uh, some different Dungeons and Dragons set up. And we got uh, a little bit of Witcher there. Some different themes, skeletons, dragons, wolves. Big old dragon down there, McFarlane. More Dungeons and Dragons. There's our Grimswold. books and game stuff. I uh, also really enjoy these uh, glass cases. Looks like we got a number of uh, Funko Pops today. Different Funkos. Got a few figures, statues. Graded books. I think we saw those last time. The comic books. Little Gundam. Hey, there's that Einzul Gold. I was wondering what happened to that. Won't be dropping 150 on that guy today, but uh, I do like me some Overlord. Uh, more pops. You can see some uh, loose pops. Sodas there. There's a few of our rhinos, but uh, we got those on the cheap. Got a couple Avatar figures, all kinds of like games. We got a little Flash, like a little DC section going on there. They also have like these little cubby areas, so you just gotta kind of look around. They might be hiding some stuff. But I think we saw some pretty good figures last time we're here, and I do like the way this looks. So we got a Lady Death statue. That's kind of cool. That is about 300 bucks. Whew. And there's uh, some older figures some big old transformers look at uh wow that's pretty cool uh what is this this is like a overkill must be like an evil grimlock maybe huh maybe like the original dinobot and these robotech i have no idea what these are but i knew uh they had them like behind the counter for the longest time huh like 
I guess they're figures. Y'all uh, let me know. Unfortunately, like they've made them, like it's a fancy box design. Like I assume that it's like the Robotech figures, but I just don't have uh, experience with them. And uh, you know, with the security tags and stuff, can't really open them up, but that is a lot of Robotech. There's the big old TIE Fighter from Black Series. Got an Optimus Prime, an Iron Man going on. Some different wrestlers. Dash Dawson from the NXT days. There's uh, Jason Jordan, Shane McMahon, Gypsy Yeager. Got some Eternals. Different X-Men. Doctor Strange, there's Loki, I think, minus the Build-A-Figure piece. And sometimes they sell, you know, figures like that. All right, so here is the swim wig, but I'm definitely not looking to scoop it up at full price. We'll see if I can find a clearance deal on that. Do like the colors and everything, that's a cool design. Some of the other characters. Look at this little uh, select Miss Piggy. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Definitely some fun stuff. Some Marvel Universe. We got some gargoyles. Best action. Look at that Beetlejuice. That's pretty wild. Ronin, some Witcher. I looked at that Ned Stark, I think, last time we were here. Vision. Princess Bride. Little Gundams. We saw quite a few Gundams last time we were here. Those are cool little sets. Uh, look at all the DC. So they set up this, like, little... McFarlane wall stand. So you got a lot of the McFarlane figures. There's some of the minis. More McFarlane. <laughs> got the Star Trek. Anybody looking for that guy? Let's go around and got a few more McFarlane. So there is Two Face. Yep, I should have picked up that uh, that Joker when I was here. Have not seen that. They uh, definitely didn't restock. Loose figs. We left a little bit last time. Have the loose figures. That's so uh, interesting. Paint. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> What is this? I guess like a little figure pack for like a game. Little like troopers there. Oops. Oh, got League of Legends. Destro. Like somebody took him out of the plastic. Transformers. This is kind of cool. I imagine this is what McFarlane. Unfortunately, scale looks a little small for uh, Legions. But that, uh, that ball and chain might have been kind of cool. Series 1. Oh, NECA. Yeah. That ball and chain might have been cool. What's she going for? 30 bucks. Uh, we got the Supergirl there. Little Duff. Blues Brothers car. 
some uh, McFarlane for you. Kind of cool head sculpt and design. Showing you what else they had uh, going on at the time. It's that Robin Hood, Prince of Beasts. Nice. Oh, look at that. Whew. Sheriff of Nottingham. Nice. Minox down there. Got some Donatello, some more turtle stuff. Got a little uh, Black Series droids there. Let's go see what else we can find. All these games. Tons of games. A little bit of Mario there. Nintendo Power. Got some magic, some different cards. There's some more Mario. Look at this. I don't know that I've seen this Mario Odyssey pack before. That's kind of cool. Some different Marios for you. And we got a little bit of Pokemon. Let's keep looking around and see what else we can find. Another case. This one's a little more video game focus with that Mega Man. I remember having that game. That's crazy. Tomb Raider. Got a few Funkos, but again, kind of some game related stuff going on. Kingdom Hearts there. So pretty cool. I definitely enjoy the little cases at, uh, at our second and Charles. But let's go see what else we can find. Star Wars, got General Grievous, that's a cool little concept there, a little Force Unleashed figure, uh, we got some bigger McFarlane's, but uh, nothing we haven't seen before, a lot of Star Wars, so you got uh, little Luke there, Biggs, our Luke, Anakin, hello. We got uh, some of our retro cards going on. Some different uh, concept figures. All kinds of General Grievous, right? Vader has a uh, hologram. Got some power of the force. We've seen plenty of power in the force. Is that Randy Savage? I actually have him uh, chilling out on uh, the counter now. Got him out of the package. Nice little band. Got a couple exclusives. Oh, there's a Ric Flair. The old Nature Boy. Omega. There's a uh, Force Unleashed. Little Obi Wan Street Fighter figure there. Check out uh, Speeder Bike and Scout. Got uh, that Galvatron. So, yeah, just a bunch of stuff kind of chilling. Little Star Wars area. I didn't really notice anything with uh, loose figures this time around. But uh, let's go see if we can find any clearance stuff. And uh, that's probably going to do it for this uh, second in Charles. One more case before we go check out the clearance. Check out uh, Stormbreaker. That's a uh, pretty good size. Looks pretty cool. That's, uh, that's definitely something different. Got uh, this like Megatron dragon. That's pretty wild. Looks like a Lord of the Rings uh, sword back there as well. Kind of a display piece. Got uh, the Batman. Cool. Got some Lego people. Still got Batgirl. Got a Green Lantern. Hella. Zamazoo, little 
Catwoman, some Bane. There's our Gladiator Hulk if you want to get him before the re-release. Little Millennium Falcon. And yeah, you can see the wall. Uh, they've put out quite a few things, so not quite as much back on this wall, but some cool stuff in store. So definitely check it out. Let's go check out the clearance. A little bit of clearance pops going on. So yeah, definitely if you are in the Matthews area, check out your second in Charles. Never know what you might find. All finished up at second in Charles. Uh, if you enjoy second in Charles, definitely uh, give me a thumbs up. You know, if I see people liking the videos, if I see people watching the videos second and charles is definitely a place that i would go to more often sometimes i just have to be in a mood to go to second and charles like i don't want to turn around and go right back because we've seen but every few weeks like a month out uh they do a pretty good job of rotating things around uh, like I said, similar to Books a Million as far as some of the newer stuff that they get in, Funkos, McFarlane, Marvel Legends, that kind of stuff. But uh, the second and Charles, you get the added bonus of uh, people possibly selling things in and uh, finding some cool stuff that way. But uh, no pickups today. Uh, probably the only figure that I I wouldn't say missed out on because I'm gonna pick it up eventually but I haven't seen in a while is uh, that Heath led Wow Heath Ledger Joker Dark Knight but we're about to get uh, the bank robber version from McFarlane as well so I think we'll see some restocks on uh, the original one plus we'll see that new version which comes with uh, kind of that masked clown look plus an unmasked Heath Ledger uh, I haven't looked at it close enough to tell if it's the same Heath Ledger head sculpt but uh, I kind of also want the Bane head sculpt and you know the the pile of money <laughs> might be fun might be able to take some fun pictures with that so we'll have to see with uh maybe like the kingpin and some of our different marvel legends gangsters with uh with the pile of money so we'll have to see how uh, how that plays out but uh if you're collecting the mcfarlane if you have uh that joker let me know is uh is the money a nice little diorama piece or how does that look you know sometimes diorama pieces can be a little cheap maybe it just looks like a box a green you know i mean i don't expect it to look like a million dollars but uh, just let me know uh, how they did on that and uh, if you know about the new bank robber joker what's uh what's the second head sculpt is it the same as the first release or is it a little different with the unmasked head sculpt definitely uh interested if you know let me know in the comments so we can all know knowing together but i am in matthews north carolina and we're gonna go check out target and see what we can find there today it's matthews target let's do another target run here we go in the collector's spot a little invisible man Toonie Terrors, T-800, little Halloween, little Wolfman, Hellraiser. Still got some of those American werewolves. Look at this guy. This guy might be uh, creepy and <laughs> yeah, he is. Uh, look at those head sculpts and everything. 
got the, the little umbrella. I'm not sure what that is. I haven't watched the movies. Uh, I don't like scaring myself if I don't have to, right? But I like looking at accessories and stuff. Ultimate Elder. Definitely some cool Predator stuff. Got some cartoon turtle action. Funkos. Got uh, Vader. The uh, taking a nap. Kind of laying down Vader. Glow in the dark. Hundred years of Disney. Little Star Wars there. There's some of our Attack on Titan. Is that the slash from Best Action? Yeah. I, uh, I didn't realize this guy glows in the dark, so uh, that's a fun little feature there. Got Man Ray as well. But uh, we're gonna go check out the main toy house and see what else we can find today. Jurassic Park, uh, you can definitely tell that it's later in the day. We got uh, not so much screaming, but a little crying going on. <laughs> no, uh, Ooh, Hot Wheels. Just a few single releases. Got a few nine packs, level 20 cars, some reveals. Got plenty of five packs though. You can always count on those five packs. A premium Batman, 007, Rugrats. Got some 100 years. There's a little baby Peach going on. Mario cards. Toda Edda. Ultra Hot. Monster Jams. A little bit of NASCAR. A little bit of Matchbox. Moving parts. Got the showroom. Look at that. That's a cool little ride. Lightning, got some 007, little Sean Connery, right? Look at that, Ford Bronco, Hot Wheels Skates, little Tech Deck, what's the Turtles, little Raphael, Camaro. Pokemon going on. There's some of our little micros. Check out that uh, bumblebee. That's kind of cool. Got Brett Hart here. Ultimate Warrior. Little AJ Styles. Got a few squadrons. Or AEW. Haven't seen anything new in AEW in a while. Not that WWE, you know, a lot of the same figures as well. I haven't seen that Edge in a minute. That's pretty cool. Must have been chilling somewhere. Masters of the Universe. Got a little Indiana Jones. Return of the Jedi. So we're seeing plenty of these Gamoran guards now. So definitely going to pick up another one once those hit clearance. Masterverse. There's more Indiana Jones. Been seeing quite a few of those figures. A little Temple of Doom there. Got a couple exclusive Target figures as well. Pig Head. Too bad. Some adventures going on. There's that uh, Man of Arms Deluxe as well. Got a few turtles going on. Uh, video games. Got a few Mario stuff. Little characters. Sonic. Little Poppy Playtime. Been seeing this Knuckles like everywhere too. Demon Slayer, got some Gundam. There you go, Superhero Vegeta. 
That looks pretty good. That's a pretty cool figure as well. So yeah, some pretty good anime going on. Got some page punchers as well. These are new page punchers. All right, NECA aisle. I've been hearing people have been finding. Yes, look at this, new gargoyles. Brooklyn, that's pretty cool. So it looks like they got three of the Brooklyns. And also new to Gargoyles, we got uh, Broadway. Which, yeah, let's take a look. If I can pull these out without making like a complete mess. Got a different head sculpt, kind of like the axe, the mace, a little popcorn tail, some hands. So that looks like it's been pretty well done by NECA. And then Brooklyn. Check out uh, that hair. That is awesome. It's got like the little scroll there. Got the lance, some hands. So pretty well done by NECA on these gargoyles. Looks like they also got a restock of uh, Demona, which is cool. Wolfman Mummy, some Nightmare on Elm Street. Got some of our head stands, some different figure stands. Last Ronin, look at all the uh, Predators. Elf there, there's another Manta Ray. I know people have been finding new turtle packs. These look like the older uh, little gangster packs, but man, look at all the packs. <laughs> there are quite a few turtle packs there. And you got some mystery items. Uh, what else are we going to find today? Tons of Marvel Legends, look at this. Star-Lord, Emma Frost. This is what I'm talking about, little Marvel overload. Tons of Legends. X-Men wave, your Ant-Man. Doesn't look like anybody's really been scooping that up. Got some of our little Dungeons and Dragons dice characters. Power Rangers. Got the Cover Girl there. Cobra Kai Power Rangers. Got some Flash minifigs. Project Superman and Impulse. Got the big old Flash there. There's that bat wing, the thing is crazy. Transformers. We got a little bit of basic Marvel. Some different Funkos. Not seeing much of uh, the Spider-Verse. We'll have to see if maybe they're in a separate spot. But you saw all the Guardians and all the Avengers and the X-Men. So right there is like already three waves. And we got a little bit of Transformers, but most of those are pretty basic. All right, I think that's gonna do it for this Target. Target run! I was wondering if we would uh, see those gargoyles. I did, uh, somebody messaged me and I really appreciated that uh, they saw those. Uh, I was actually more of like South Charlotte, so who knew they would be chilling at our Matthew store. Looks like uh, they had three Brooklyn, three Broadway, three Demona. I'm not sure if that's how uh, they chipped in, shipped in. Wow, maybe they had like four of each. But uh, that is pretty cool, especially uh, you know if you haven't picked up that Demona. Some good, uh, some good NECA fun there. Definitely let me know if you're picking up the gargoyles. You saw all the Marvel Legends, quite a few Marvel Legends. We'll just have to keep an eye on that, see if uh, they start hitting clearance. Maybe I'll start scooping up some of those figures. Uh, collector spot, because we have the NECA aisle, you know, it didn't look too bad with the uh, collector's spot. 
Uh, what else? Oh, people have been finding the like animated turtles. We saw some of the older packs from Holothon. So we'll have to see if some of those, like I think the cartoon animated April's coming back out, the ultimate, uh, the Casey Jones and like the battle damage foot soldier, I think is coming back out two pack. So uh, we'll have to keep an eye out for those exclusives at, uh, at our target stores, but no, uh, no pickups today. Uh, honestly, there's nothing too major that I'm looking for. Just, uh, you know, some different deals and maybe uh, some things to customize, some parts, some fonder, but you know, I don't like spending a ton if I'm just uh, trying to pick up some parts. So you just have to, you know, wait and see what we pick up, what we put together, but uh, no major pickups today. Definitely uh, a fun little trip to Matthews. Saw some pretty cool stuff, so definitely enjoyed that but uh if you haven't already go ahead and jump into clint pool collects having a lot of fun here on the youtube also over on instagram kent pool collects uh sometimes i pick put up pictures and videos before the youtube videos so uh definitely go check out the instagram kent pool collects Definitely uh, appreciate all the support. Y'all are too awesome for uh, supporting the channel. And uh, thank you to our channel members. Too kind, too kind. Really uh, appreciate seeing the uh, channel members. Definitely uh, supporting the channel. I can't say much more. It is uh, too kind and uh, I really appreciate it. So thank you so much. Until next time, always be hunting.